what's going on guys? It's uh, Hulu here, or whatever you want to call me at this point. Probably just going to go by cons now, because Hulu's the worst name I could ever picked. But yeah, it's been, a, you know, probably over a year since we've spoken in a video, so I thought why not. And plus this video that I made probably needs some explanation. But yeah, basically what this video is, is just, you know, a bunch of, you know, random ass COD highlights that I've had over the past year uh, playing this awful fucking game like this i've never experienced more try hard motherfuckers on a fucking video game before i hope you guys just enjoy just watching me just absolutely shit on these kids because i hate how people play this game i also wanted to talk to ask you guys what i should upload now because i want to come back but i literally have no idea what i should upload i can make vr videos i can make you know pretty much anything i don't think I have a working Elgato anymore. That shit doesn't work. So yeah, that's probably why it, that, that ex it's going to explain why the, the quality on this is pretty dog shit. At least the, the COD clips because they're all um, Xbox recorded. So yeah, they're going to be in terrible quality. Yeah, I also threw in a few trick shots in there um, that I've hit on Plutonium. Um, not good. Uh, they're pretty dog shit you know, for standards, I guess, nowadays, whatever 2020 standards is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't expect, you know, crazy-ass clips from this, because they're literally just random-ass dog shit clips that I've just Xbox recorded over the past year. I just wanted something to upload, and, you know, I was like, let me just slap some music on this bitch and, you know, make a little montage. But yeah, again, let me know what you want to see. Been pretty bored during quarantine probably should have taken advantage of that and made, you know, a little bit more videos other than just one edit. Don't expect me to upload too often. You know, when I feel like uploading, I'm gonna upload. Yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy, and peace. Oh yeah, and YouTube, please for the love of God, don't crucify me for using an unreleased J. Cole song. Something I've been feeling. Vary. Yeah. Yeah. God is real and he using me for a bigger purpose So fuck the world and what have you think that a nigga worthless Sometimes I think that these verses can help a person Way more than the ones they reading in churches on days of worship No disrespect to the Lord and Savior, that ain't just ego I just observed that the words no longer relate to people Cause modern times be flooded with dollar signs And social media stunting, my niggas just wanna shine They frame a mind so far removed from the days and times of Nazareth Life these days is a labyrinth And the maze so elaborate We barely get through half of it for it's too late My niggas is felons from selling weight In more than two states Two two in his waist before he could even shoot straight Quick to draw on you like Aaron McGrew The nigga who fake All of that to say maybe the hood need a new face A new story about a boy from not too far where you stay Won't you fly, won't you fly with me Won't you fly with me His mama was a virgin named Yolanda, and she raised him on her own. After she was disowned, her mama called her a liar, said, Get the fuck out my home, since you wanna be grown. So there she was now, 17 and alone. But this little boy that grew in her stomach made her feel strong. The angels paid her a visit one night and let it be known. This was God's child, woman behold a miracle. She shed tears, cause she never believed in the spiritual. But her heart was pure, and she was good. For 18 years, she raised him on Section 8 in the cold embrace of the hood. Did the best that she could, the boy was named Javari Walked with the spirit of his father emanating from body Back in the hood, look at Lil Vari preach His words were full of spirit, his truth it would always reach He laid his hands on Toya when niggas called her a freak And told her that God loved her no matter who she let be But being promiscuous is a sign that there's something deep That troubles her soul, the day she lets it go she'll find peace She broke down admitting her stepfather had touched her for years She kept a secret for fear of her mother's grief 
Now the bitterness she feels for that nigga is at a peak And a lack of self-esteem is the reason that she would sleep with anybody And I think twice Javari spoke calmly instructing her to forgive her stepfather Though he was wrong, he was sick, afflicted by evil But the power to switch How you feel about people who hurt you is truly a gift The thing that can make you rich or keep you down in the ditch If you refuse to let go of the ground And how can you lift into the sky Where you belong with the most high Now wipe those tears from your eyes My father wants you to fly mm. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Back in the hood, Javari built up a following Niggas put down their pistols eventually and stopped swallowing molly pills Instead now they bodies filled with spirit Twelve little homies soaking up every word that they hearing The neighborhood done changed in attitude and appearance Police dumbfounded by lack of crime and they swear it's a fluke Not knowing the truth that this a miracle Niggas is waking up but the powers that be they fearing So government keeping tabs on Javari and those who practice adherence To things he teaching and then comes the interference they storm in the hood, guns out, bust into the house that he slept in a warrant claiming suspicion of drug possession. Bavari sat calmly as if he had been expecting, heart full of love, even for those who need to oppress him. They told him hands up and he did just as they directed. They fired on him claiming they thought he reached for a weapon. He laid on the floor breathless, blood leaking from his chest, plus a bullet hole through both of his palms. Ain't that a message? The neighborhood was stressing. The son of God murdered and carried away on stretcher, body oppressor. But three days later, the coroner pulled a table. And what happened next is like something you see on cable or hear in the fable. He was suddenly able to open his eyes. Look at him rise. The coroner was surprised. Huh? Without a word, Javari walked out, went straight to the hood The people couldn't believe it, they froze right where they stood As he walked by, shining like a million diamond chains God flowing from every inch of his frame He said, hear me out, my niggas, let me be your proof My father is real, and through love, homie, peace can be found in the veil I die for you so that one day you would be able to see You a child of God just like me Hear me out, my niggas, let me be your proof My father is real And through love, homie, peace can be found in the veil I die for you so that one day you would be able to see You a child of God just like me And I want you to fly, want you to fly mm -hmm. Depends on you now. Like you cut, G.